There's nothing more romantic than a traditional open fire. But if you want a modern alternative, you can go for one of these wood-burning stoves. The stove consists of an inner furnace and an outer shell. It's mostly made out of steel, and here a large sheet is cut into furnace walls for over 20 stoves. It's loaded into a laser cutter that slices through the steel like a hot knife through butter. It's incredibly accurate and burns through the metal with a temperature of over 1600 degrees Celsius. All the leftover steel is hauled away with a heavy-duty hook attached to a hoist and will be melted down and reused. This is one of 46 steel pieces that will make each stove. Obviously, the walls need to fit together perfectly, so they're all checked over by a quality controller. A three-ton barrel rolls the sheets into shape to make the curved sides of the furnace. The steel sheet might not be giving you that warm glow right now, but all that will change. The curvature is checked on a template. Another operator bends each edge twice so the chamber walls can be slotted together. Again, the template is used to check the joints will fit together perfectly. Here, the walls of the furnace are assembled. They're held together using a series of clamps. And the chamber begins to take shape. The corners are welded manually to hold the pieces in place. A robot then welds all the seams to form a solid structure. It only takes 12 minutes to finish the job. Although the stove was meant to heat the living room, the exterior shouldn't get too hot or it would be a fire risk. So in the workshop next door, an outer shell is being assembled. There are only a few seams, so it doesn't take long to weld by hand. This is where the furnace gets put in the shell. Each unit weighs 80 kilos, so to save his back, this man uses a hoist to carry it for him. It's time for some cosmetic work. In this chamber, thousands of tiny steel balls are blasted around the stove for 15 minutes to give it a textured finish. The hoist lifts the stove from the chamber, and then the steel balls are tipped out. Then a tray for the ash and a cast iron grate are put into place. 
One of the workers hooks up an airbrush system and gives the whole unit a fine coat of protective varnish. It will resist temperatures of up to 600 degrees Celsius. Next, a heat-resistant layer of insulation is inserted into the furnace. It may look like cork, but it's actually a mineral called vermiculite. So you can gaze at your romantic fire but keep it safely locked up. An armoured glass door is installed. It's got to be tough enough to take the odd knock, so it's tested with this 10 kilo steel ball. The stove is complete, but there's still work to be done. Strict safety guidelines must be followed when installing one, so experienced fitters make sure it's done properly. They need to ensure the smoke will be extracted safely. Here they're going to channel it through a disused chimney shaft. They check there's a draft and the shaft hasn't been blocked. After the stove has been moved into place, the flue is fixed into position. A base plate is slid under the furnace to protect the flooring and the job's done. The workers start the first fire to make sure everything is working perfectly. Not only do wood-burning stoves give you that loving feeling, they're also very efficient and an ecologically sound way to heat your home.